Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. Um, I've got a couple of blanks here uh, which are really not suitable for use as they are. This one's quite old. I got it from somebody else. Uh, this uh, cube of box elder, uh, I was going to turn into a vase, uh, but it's split across the middle um, and it's going to have to be cut down. So this is how I go about that. So we'll deal with this big cube first. So uh, this was more or less whole. It had a little split here, but in the couple of weeks since I cut it, um, it's uh, split, as you can see. There's a big one here. Uh, it starts to split across there. It's got a split down here, which goes this kind of way. So that just needs cutting through there on that line. So. I can draw a line where I need to go and then I'm going to need to find the center of that. That's 160, so uh, 80 is the center. And cross there and then find enough of a base parallel to that. So the base will be roughly there and my bowl, can, I can do something with that block anyway. So and this is end grain. No, it doesn't sound like it. Right, so I'm now left with a, a slope here. Now, that's not safe to put through a bandsaw. When the blade hits that, it'll just go forward. So, just cut off that little bit. And there's a little bit of an angle there, so Just take a teeny bit of that off and there will be a fairly good circle in there. Now I'm not going to deal with that now um, in case it splits again before I get to it. So that's how that stays for the moment. This leaves us with the rest of it. So split, split, splits. It looks as though I can go through there, so I just want if I cut that, I think that should get rid of the split, and I'll just come through there. blade well this saw does not have a a, uh, a foot break so I jam it to a halt now what's this this has shown is uh, it's actually come up with a bit of figure it might be quite difficult to see uh, so that'll look quite nice in the bottom of a bowl again I'm not going to oh there's figure coming across there too um, but that says it's end grain so the grains all over the place in this so I won't really know what's going to be happening then until I get into it, I think. Anyway, that stays as is. And again, if it splits up, I've still got the option of cutting it into uh, squares. And that has a big split up the middle. That really is waste. So that goes into the firewood bag. Uh, this one has which uh, got left an oily rag on it the other day so 
that's actually rather highlighted some figure in there and there's a knot here so whoever cut this originally uh, which wasn't me um, didn't really take the knot into account there's a split to there so there's where the split is and on the back all looks okay there but that the split comes up to there so there to there and really <coughs> I just need to cut this unfortunately through there should bring that down This is feels pretty dry. Yes, I think it is dry, and uh, it actually looks like end grain. Yeah. Difficult to tell again what's happening around there, um, but I think I'm inclined to uh, just keep this for a little. Ooh. I'm going to do very much at all with this at the moment. Mainly what I've done is get rid of the defect and then it's a question now of seeing what I can do with the rest so uh, I have the option of cutting it there in which case I've got what kind of bowls that way I've got another one so we're looking if I take those cuts at two small boards I can also go in that way I can draw a circle there um, which I could still get two small bowls out of that and I think that's the way I'm going to go so what I'm going to do is just cut this straight through the middle and and that I will turn I think I'll have a little lidded box out of this one with the grain matching. Half inch blade goes round that corner quite comfortably. So that will be the top. And that will be the bottom. Uh, I'll actually mark that so I know which the inside is. Uh, top, bottom, it doesn't matter. We'll sort out which later. But for the moment, those will stay together as a potential little lidded box.